Hi right, guys, just doing a real quick video um, on my um, milling machine vice. I've got a um, handle that's like that. It's a fixed handle that just slides. And the problem with this is when you're working on this, you're always in line with this handle here, and it and just gets in the way. Or like, like imagine if I clamp something in, it's just the handle just wants to hit it. So. What I was doing, I was actually having to remove the whole handle and, um, and it was just a little, just taking longer and it was just a little pain. So every time I want to get anything in or out of the vice, I don't get that handle loose and then tighten it back up and pan it to the side. So I'm done with that. What I want to do, I want to um, use the ball bearing and the spring method to hold the handle in three different positions, or at the end, middle, or end. So if I've clamped something up in that position, I've got the opportunity to either hold it in that position or that position, and it's added a way to use this handle. It's got lots of applications. I've actually already done it on my chuck key. So this is my chuck key for the lathe. And that handle is, is kept there. And then if I want, we just slide it to that position or that position and it works out really good on the chuck plate because it gives you a longer handle so you can really paint down hard on something and then when you're done you can just leave it in that position there All right. so that's what I'm going to be doing with this and um, I'll just do a little quick video on, on me doing it I've removed the um, lead screw out of the vise so, and what the idea is here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to drill a hole into the end so I can access this section here. And in this section here, I'm gonna have a spring, which is the spring here, and then have a eight mil ball bearing that the spring will push up against. So this spring here is, on, in its free state, it's 20 mil long. So what, I, and that spring is a six mil diameter. So I'm gonna have a 6.5 mil diameter hole here, but I want this spring to be compressed. So I'm gonna go 10 mil deep, and then allow eight mil for the ball bearing, so 18 mil total. So there's gonna be an 18 mil deep hole into here, and 10 mil will be at 6.5 diameter, and then the last eight mil will go eight mil diameter. So it's it can take the ball bearing. So that's the plan, guys. That's how we'll be doing it. I just thought I'd show you that. This spring here, I actually made these springs. I made these springs on my lathe, and I made some extra ones, and for this actual method here. Um, I've actually used it, I actually made a spindle lock for my milling machine. And, and that's what, in that side, this tube here, that's what it's got, it's got, a, it's got a spring and a ball bearing, and it just holds my spindle lock in place. See how there's a little divot up in here? Well, once it hits that ball bearing, it locks in place. And that won't, the, the, what, through vibration, that's not gonna move. And then there's another one in the um, open position. So they do come in handy. So that, that's it there, guys. So I'll just get along and do this job.
18 mil. It was at 42 when I started. So I'll take it to 60 mil. So that's a 6.5 mil drill bit. I've taken it 18 mil deep. Now I'll get the, uh, I'm actually going to use an 8.5mm drill bit, give it a bit of clearance and we'll go down. Okay, got the 8.5mm drill bit ready. A little bit of oil. Okay, so I chamfered the end there, and um, that's this section of the job done. And um, I'll just get the spring in there, and then the ball bearing, drop that in. And uh, with a little rod, I can press that ball bearing down. So you can see there, see how that's going to work? That's going to work really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's actually quite a simple job, but it's worth doing. To get this handle out of the way and the vice is driving me nuts. Okay, so I'll start with the last portion of the job. Let's put this I'm all ready to go with the last stage of this project. Um, I'm gonna be doing it on the milling machine. I've got a rotary table there. I could have done it on the lathe. I could have just made a form tool using high speed steel tool bit, but I just didn't, I didn't want to waste the time doing that because I've already got a um, an end mill, a um, eight mil a bull nose end mill. So, and I've got a, and as you can see, I've got a, rotary table there, yes, so I decided to do it on the mill. Um, I'm all set to go. Um, I'm just going to go down one mill, just um, get this set up. Set at one mil.
I'm roughly over the top of that in the center there. So I'll just walk in the mill. And now I'll use the rotary table just to go around and do a cut. Cutting it really easy. There we go, too easy. It's a nice little groove, that's all you need. Happy with that. I'll do the next two off camera and uh, get back to you. Okay, got this piece finished. That's, that's all you gotta do. Come pretty good. Just put this together now. So I'm just got the bearing and the spring. So there's the bearing and the spring. I've grabbed that. I'm going to need a little rod just to push it down. Push the um, bearing down before I get that little handle in. Okay, so I get the spring in. Just cover this hole so the ball bearing doesn't fall out. Okay, so I've got that in position. The ball, as you can see, goes in and out. So I hold that down with one hand and then there we go. So there we go. This works nice. really happy with that so as you can see if that was in the bias clamped up instead of hanging down i can push it out of the way either that position or that position so yeah really happy with that guys um i'm just gonna um put my bias back together and maybe just do one real quick video of showing them um, all back together okay the job's complete everything's back together and um yeah so this happened to me a lot where this handle here just lined up with this bottom one and it just just fouled with it so i'd have to take this handle out after i've clamped up the workpiece but uh, now all i'm going to do is just lift it up like that to the center or if I really want I can even go up to the top one and uh, yeah, it does not fail with this handle at all and I can permanently leave this handle in here now so really really happy with that and um, because and then using it on the center notch it's actually making it a lot quicker to wind in and wind out the handle so a bit of a bonus there. So I'm extremely happy guys, really, really happy. It was one of those jobs I should have done ages ago, but it's like everything, it's those little jobs you just keep putting off, just made life hard for myself. But now it's gonna feel like I'm using a new voice. And um, yeah, you, you really know your life is going really, really well when it's the little things like this making you so happy. And, and trust me, guys, I am extremely happy right now. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.